Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Kane Audio Vlog. Uh, first of all, my apologies for having not uploaded a video for quite a few weeks now. Um, I've just been too busy to do it. Um, so I've got a few things coming up at the moment. Um, I've got a remix that I've just done for Mousetrap. Uh, for one of their artists, I'll talk more about that soon. Been doing a bunch of mix downs for other artists. I've pretty much finished my next EP, uh, and I'm currently working on sound design for factory presets for a new synth, but I can't mention that yet. Um, yeah, so it's all been pretty busy, and I can't really say much. Uh, Apart from that, gig-wise, next week I'm going to be playing at Nosdoc Festival, so come along, and that should be good. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it, I think. Um, so yeah, today I'm I, I, I've been working on a track from my EP, so I'll give you a quick sort of five-second blast of it in a minute. Um, but something I've done with the hi hats, which I've I know I've sort of did that white noise hi-hat thing in a, a video before um, so this is kind of an extension of that I suppose for when you're using hi-hat samples um, so let me show you what I've done so far I'll just give you a quick couple of bars <laughs> So on that note, what I've got here is some hi-hats and a tom. If I just solo this channel and press play again. That's basically it. So it's this hi-hat you, you're paying attention to. You'll notice what I've done is over here I've dropped in some reverb. But as you can see from the blue line rising here over time, what I've done is I've grabbed the decay time of the reverb and I've dropped in an LFO unit here. So I'm having a sawtooth sloping up and it's over four bars and that's playing with the de decay time. <clears throat> so it sounds like your hats are getting longer. So if I just play a, a bit of that again, you'll hear it in action. And that's basically it. Uh, it's just a little trick that I've done because I noticed uh, listening to like, you know, funk and rock tracks when you have a real drummer. Uh, it's one of those things where you quite often get a drummer who will just sort of slightly relax their left foot towards the end of a phrase. Uh, so the hi-hat kind of sounds a bit more messy. Um, and it's just something I've basically recreated using reverb to extend it because it was only a short hi-hat in the first place you could alternatively if you've got a really long open hi-hat you could um, set the LFO to to the release time of the hi-hat um, but this one happened to be quite a short hi-hat in the first instance so I added in some reverb the mix is fairly low 16% in the dry wet um, I brought the size down a bit so it's a bit more roomy um, and yeah, and it's just a case of extending that tail basically and then if I play you that few bars again as a whole, it, you should hear it in perspective. <laughs> And that's basically it. It's just a cool little thing that I, I did to that hi-hat and I thought I'd share it with you guys because, um, you know, it's one of those things I wouldn't do it in every track, but every now and then it just kind of adds a little bit of depth to, to the track and, and just gives you, the listener, something else to listen to, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, so if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, there should be more following shortly. Cheers. See you soon.